Hello guys, welcome back. This is Manigandan. So today video we are going to discuss about SQL injection. Using SQL injection, we are going to bypass authentication in this application. Please, please remember if someone knows already about SQL injection, please don't watch this video because I am going to prepare this video only for the people who doesn't know anything about SQL injection or if someone wants to understand about SQL injection, they can watch this video. Rest of the people, please ignore this video or you can skip this video because it, it is not in-depth knowledge about SQL injection because it's completely for the beginners who uh, wants to understand about SQL injection okay let me start about SQL injection for uh, for demonstration purpose I am going to use the VM uh, which which is available in the hack the box platform in the hack the flash platform which has a lot of vulnerable VM whenever if you want to perform or if you want to practice any penetration testing or if you want to perform any CTF program the CTF program you can go and enroll yourself in the hack the box platform where we can get a lot of vulnerable VMs which has a lot of vulnerability uh, kind of platform okay let me start uh, about today video for demonstration purpose I am going to use the VM that IP address is 10.129.208.182 so before going to perform any attack on the target server first we need to figure out what are the ports are running in the target server at the same time we need to figure out what are the service which are available in the target server based on the service and the port numbers enumeration process we can engage our uh, attacking approach and we can perform lots in the uh, target server so i am verified that i am able to reach out in the target server 10.129.208.182 it is it is our target server now you can ask one question how i am making connection to the target server for making the connection to the target server i have connected open vpn via vpn uh, connection i got a one vpn i got a ip address that is called 10.14.66 that is my system ip so my target ip address is 10.129.208.182 so i don't have any information about this target server so first and foremost things to when it comes to enumeration process that is called recognition uh, recognition process we, we can use nmap tool via nmap tool we can figure out what are the service running over there so okay let me start the nmap tool so for that one let me confirm the ip address so so our target ip address is 10.129.208.182 so let me do the nmap 10.129.208.182 so if you are not mentioning any port number in the uh, nmap tool how that nmap tool will do the scanning process it will check top thousand common ports if anything open in the target server then nmap tool will list out these are the ports are running in the target server when you are not mentioning any port number that is called top thousand common port if here you can see 999 ports are closed in the target server only one port is open that is called port number 80 so now i get to know that port number 80 is open on our target server then i need to figure out what is the actual service it is running over there so to figure out the service details we can use hyphen sv command that is called sv which which we can use when it comes to uh, service enumeration process then hyphen p that is called port number mentioning hyphen p that port number is 18 then i am going to mention the uh, target server ip address that is called 10.129.208.182 then so now nmap going to uh, figure out the service details on the port number 80 let's wait for few minutes yeah here you can see uh, that uh, port number is 80 and uh, service detail is apache http uh, 2.4.3.8 that is apache version so if you are able to figure out this kind of information 
what you have to do you can go uh, exploit db where we can find out is there any open vulnerability which is present in that specified version you can get those information on exploit uh, hyphen db.com i don't think uh, this version is vulnerable to some kind of attack uh, because it's kind of uh, i don't think but let's see that we let's we try to figure out something so i am going to copy the version apache 2.0 Apache 2.4.3.8 My internet condition is very bad. Okay. What happened? Yeah, I got access. Here I can see one vulnerability, but the condition is Apache version 2.4.1.7. It should be less than 2.4.38, which means we can expect some vulnerability if that version is below the uh, 2.4.38. But our uh, running version is you know, 2.4.38, so I don't think that we can expect this vulnerability. So that port number 8 is opening. So let me try to open that application in my browser. Okay. Mm, let me close the browser session. Let me open a new tab and uh, type the IP address. IP address tender. Let me copy the IP address. Copy and selection. Paste it over there. Yes. Now, now we got uh, access. I mean, in that. Uh, target application we are able to open in our browser but i don't have any information about that application i mean i don't have any uh, uh, username password for that application for that one i am going to type admin admin login details so obviously we are getting some error i mean we are not able to open that application and, uh, and one more thing like if you are going to perform uh, any kind of uh, assessment on our target server first try to figure out is there any sensitive file that we are able to access so i am going to use derp which we can use for the uh, directory enumeration process let me type under uh, http column the system ip address is uh, 10.129.208.182 that is a system ip address here you can see if you don't know exact syntax we, we can use this uh, you know uh, directly that I'm going to use actually so here let me tell you what I have done I I'm going to use a dub command because I know only the information about the port details which is running on our target server apart from that I don't have any information about the target server so I'm going to use the derp command darp that is a uh, you know utility we can use for the directory enumeration process derp then ip address is http 10.129.208 that is system ip address then this is the you know uh, default over list directory which is available in uh, you know uh, Kali instance let me open the new tab let me explain where we can get those information that is the actual directory is cd user sad word list derp so here you can see in the derp directory in default all the Kali instance having these kind of uh, uh, you know word list file if you are going to follow any attack that time you can use uh, this kind of word list for the enumeration process that's why i'm going to use apache dot uh, display because as i said uh, the target applic the target servers having apache version so i'm going to use apache related word list i'm not sure you know what are the information that i'm going to get from that ip address but i'm just trying so let's see that we are able to get any information on the target ip here you can see in the testing process testing uh, that you know uh, scanning that yeah, is completed but we are not getting anywhere the only thing is we are getting server hyphen status uh, is opening so let me copy the details and uh, paste to over there whether we are able to discover any sensitive information or not so login information 
server status 10.1.20 that is a directive we are getting right okay no we are not getting information because you can see we are getting you don't have a permission to access this resource so we are getting apache version apart from that we are not getting uh, any information so that directory was uh, directory enumeration process also doesn't you know it is not helping to get uh, some information on the target server so last and final let me let me shall we try in the sql injection attack okay so basically how that sql injection will work i i wish to tell you about that information here you can see uh, you know that actual architecture flow is whenever you are putting any input in the front-end application the front-end application will uh, transfer those input as a SQL query as a language then that query will goes to the server side then server will do some action or server will retrieve or server will store some information based on the SQL query which is coming from the user so this is the actual flow between client application and the database server if somehow as an attacker if i am going to inject some sql related query in that application side if application doesn't validate my input then what will do then application will customize the query as per as per you know attacker putting some input in the application side because of that malicious query server will do some action there are so many things will come to picture we can bypass the authentication we can get some sensitive information from the database there are so many stuff that we can do when it comes to sql injection in this video as i said i am going to tell you about bypass the authentication approach so um, how what will do basically you know in the application side it should validate the input uh, input details whenever uh, some uh, input that are getting uh, from the user those area applications should validate whether the uh, input, input is legit or it is coming it is kind of some malicious things those things should be validated by application so here you can see this is the actual query here uh, select star means in database from user user means a table that from users table where username is equal to username something okay money or uh, admin root whatever it is that time should check and password password also should check if both condition it's match then application will allow uh, into the server that is the actual flow so let me copy this query okay where is this okay this is the actual uh, you know query here uh, select star from user where username is equal to instead of putting actual username and i'm going to put admin that is actual admin password is admin so if you are writing like this you don't need to put any uh, quote or single quote usually in front end side you are going to put the username admin and the password is admin so this is the way you will put the input in the application set but in the back end what will happen your query will your input will go like this um, username is equal to admin and uh, password is admin okay so um, i'm not sure what is the username uh, i'm not sure what is the password but uh, guessing way i'm going to do that's why we used to prefer or we are advised the app team to disable default username which is available in any kind of device like network server whatever it is that time we need to disable default username like uh, that is in kind of a root or admin that time we don't need to do, use those kind of username because it's easy way for the attacker they can exploit this kind of uh, uh, you know attack or they can easily enumerate the process here you can see that the username is admin what i will do let me put the single quote in after admin there is one more quote which means that query is not balancing i am going to put one more as symbol so the purpose of as symbol whenever i am putting the as symbol if that uh, application is vulnerable to sql injection then it won't check after as symbol so whatever the data is coming after as symbol it will ignore everything so first it will check the username admin if it is true then it, it will allow which means that because we are putting as symbol at the same way here you can see the condition is and so what i will do i don't know what is the password so let me put in before the hash symbol 
because uh, before admin I'm going to put the hash symbol so that it won't check what is uh, data is coming after that so let me demonstrate in the application side username is admin single quote hash because I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a user called admin I know I'm not sure what is the actual user but I'm guessing way I'm trying to log it this way username admin single quote and putting the hash symbol because if I'm putting hash symbol uh, uh, it would check the backend the data okay then I don't know what is the password so simply I'm going to put the hash symbol in the password side so if I'm putting hash symbol then it won't check the data which is which is coming after that uh, hash symbol you can see now I got an access you know, this is the flag uh, it is kind of CTA program uh, if you are able to exploit any kind of attack at end of the attack end of the exploit time you will get a flag like this so I hope you understand this thing now you can ask me like in, instead of putting single code I can directly put the hash symbol so that um, that day you know let me check let me remove the uh, single code what will happen if I'm putting like this it won't auto because uh, that query is not uh, balancing are you getting me for example uh, if I'm directly putting the hash symbol only then uh, uh, actually that application putting some co single quote in front of user actually username so if I'm not putting the again single quote after username that it won't balance the query that's why I'm putting the single quote which means I make sure that query is balancing after that I'm going to put the uh, like as symbol so that it won't check the any uh, username after that but actual condition is and uh, username and password both are same in this database side so I'm going to put a hash symbol before the admin so let me demonstrate once again admin I'm balancing the query single code then hash symbol again let me put the hash symbol so that I'm able to log it I hope you understand this uh, video so going forward uh, this is the way I'm going to explain each and every vulnerability so if you want to understand more about this fund uh, about this vulnerability please leave the comment in the comment section below I wish to help you thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day bye